So I am going to show you Sejda.com. This is a free PDF editor. Um, there are different pricings. So if you edit a lot of PDFs, you might want to download a desktop version. Um, if you don't like the cloud version, it's free. Um, I think you can edit up to three PDFs per day. So we're going to go ahead and edit a PDF. Um, and then I'm going to upload a PDF from my desktop. You can also drag and drop. So here is um, a PDF that has lots of images for camera basics. Um, and you can see it uploads it pretty quickly. Different features. Um, so I'm going to look at the menu up here. So um, all the menu up, um, items are going to be uplisted up at the top. Um, undo the command Z and control Z is a little bit limited in function. Um, undo will um, bring up a menu of different items that you have done. So you don't have to undo uh, one at a time. You can actually um, undo something that you might have done uh, four or five steps backwards. Um, so you have the option of adding in shapes. Uh, so I went ahead and drew out a square here. Um, and you can also edit the size of the shape um, just using that bounding box, grabbing one of those little uh, four boxes there. Um, and you can change the color of the uh, shape. Also, this is the border color, so you can change the border color. Um, and you can also change the width of that. Um, and then to delete that, you would um, just click the trash button by clicking on it there. Um, you also have the option of adding in rectangles. Um, so if you prefer, uh, for whatever reason, you could add that and put text on there. So um, annotations, um, you can underline, highlight, strike, out, or draw. Um, so let's go ahead and make a little circle. This is about exposure. I could uh, go ahead and grab this text here. And if I don't want that or if I want to highlight it, I could highlight it. Uh, oops, so maybe I have to uh, push the highlighter first and then highlight it. So strike out text. So let's strike out something with blue. Um, and then uh, uh, I believe that's all of those. So I can come back here and I could go back to undo. Um, and once I have undo, you can see that I don't, I don't have to uh, revert the last thing, but I can do anything. The other way is to just grab the item that you have created and um, click on the... Finally, there is a whiteout box. So if you have sensitive information on your PDF and you want to get rid of that, you can add signatures by clicking here. Um, and you also get a couple different types of um, fonts that you want to... Um, sign your name with or have somebody sign their name with. Um, so that's a possibility there. Uh, and I can go ahead and uh, delete that once again, then adding images. Uh, you can add images. They come in at the size that the image actually is. So here I'm going to uh, open one that you have to sort of run, pull around and find those that that bounding box on the corner. And you can take that and you can um, make it smaller. Finally, we have forms. So if you want to add in a checkbox, a radio button or a checkbox or a drop down menu with different choices, you go. And then also, um, uh, let's see. Yeah. So that's forms, checkbooks or uh, for links, you, instead of highlighting text, you're going to actually highlight an area of that. So if you wanted this to all go to a certain address and leave that off there. And then finally, text. So this is a slightly glitchy thing. Um, when you click, you see how this text um, automatically reformats itself with weird spacing. Um, what I would recommend doing is just coming in here and creating a new text box. So click anywhere on your page, type your text, aperture or f-stop. And um, so that would could replace that text. And then you also have um, several different fonts, um, normal ones, if you um, are doing something um, that's maybe not going to be viewed on the web. So um, color, uh, you can change the text color. You have font size, of course, italics, bold. Um, so just a really basic um, text. And then also uh, when you're done, you can click away and then you can move that text wherever you want to move it. Um, so that's basically it. The one thing that I'm not finding is that these images that are within here I cannot seem to edit those. So if I wanted to replace an image uh, within my PDF, um, probably what I would do is I would either use the whiteout function and then 
um, upload an image on top of that. Um, and once you apply all those changes, your new um, document is being saved and you can download it to your desktop. So, or to wherever your downloads go. Um, and that's the new PDF. When I go ahead and open it, um, you can see that it has been changed. We have this image that wasn't there. We have this text that wasn't there. Um, and so that is how um, you can use Sejda to edit PDFs.